Well, we worked on the mobile phone game project with Aisha, and there were about 15 deaf and hard of hearing students practicing their English skills in a game format. They played the game daily for about five to 10 minutes for a couple of weeks. And at the start of the project, the students were really excited about using the phones in the classroom. They knew they had to give feedback as part of the project. I expected the students to gain from English practice, but I really didn't expect them to become so competitive with the actual scores of the game. I figured that just using the phone to learn might overshadow the academic outcomes, but that didn't happen at all. They weren't really competing with each other. They became very competitive against themselves. They wanted their scores to be perfect. Also, when they had to provide feedback on the game, they included the fact that the game needed a component to show how an error might be corrected and the English rule that should be followed. This is one aspect I will truly remember. It illustrated that while the students may have been motivated to play the game, they also wanted to master the content, and that means the game was very successful. I will also remember how well the students gave feedback and how it truly made them feel such a vital part of the process. I know it's one experience they will never forget, and neither will I.